This, this principle changed my life. It continues to change my life. Okay, so, so what I want to do is I want us to approach God not just as Father, not just as friend, but as judge. Because we need for him to render a, a, a verdict that says, that says, everything my son died for, I, I, as they repent by the blood, remove every legal right that allows them to step into the fullness of that. Amen? So just say this with me. Say, say Lord, as we stand before you, even as judge, we thank you, Lord, that you're our father, you're our friend, but we come before you as judge right now. And we would ask you, Lord, as we would present ourselves before your presence, that any and every curse that would work against me or would be working against my family to stop me from the destiny to stop me from the upgrade that you have for me, that it's time for. <laughs> Lord, we would ask that any curse that has its roots in something legal, that you, by the blood of Jesus, would, would forgive us and would cleanse us. So, Lord, as we stand before you, we repent. For any realm of sin and transgression that we are guilty of, that we personally have sinned in, we're sorry before you. We ask for your blood to cleanse us. But anything in our bloodline that the enemy would legally be using to stop us from our destiny, from our upgrade, we ask for your blood to speak for us. We ask for the blood to cleanse us and to wash us even now. And even every legal right connected to our bloodline, that your blood, Lord, would wash that away so that the enemy loses every legal right to resist me from coming into my destiny. Lord, I'm asking right now for that to be done. I'm asking right now for a breakthrough in my life, for a new realm of breakthrough to come, that curses are broken, they are removed, so I can come into the fullness of everything Jesus died for, that all things that pertain to life and godliness. They have been given to me. By faith now, I step into the fullness of them. Even as the legal right of curses are removed from my life by the blood of Jesus. For the devil, he has no answer to the blood of the Lamb. I thank you, Lord, for your blood that cleanses me in my bloodline and allows me to get the fullness of all that is mine. And I receive it now. And I even say this, I receive it for my family. I receive it for my children, for my grandchildren, for everything that is ours. Lord, I receive it now by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord a praise, would you? Thank you, Lord. Amen. Bless you guys. Thank you so much. You know, I just felt to, let's pray for, you know, my people perish for lack of vision or lack of prophetic revelation. I think we need to pray for dreams and revelation. What do you think? That God would just give us insight. And John Arnett, if you don't mind coming, we don't get John here too often anymore, but I just love him to give a father's blessing. But I'm just going to pray, Lord, I thank you for pouring out dreams, revelation, insight, God, that you would speak to us, speak to your people. 
Father, keys. You're giving us keys to unlock doors. I just bless Isaiah 22, 22, that God is revealing, giving keys of David to, to open doors that no man can open and to shut doors that no man can shut, that God is giving the revelation, that God is giving the insight. God is giving the keys. So, Lord, pour it out all over this place. I thank you, God, that you are giving revelation that brings freedom in Jesus' name. And, you know, I'm just going to pitch there in a week's time. We're starting a, a school of revelation in this house. And if you're having a hard time hearing God or you're hearing him speak about getting dreams and you're like, I never get a dream. I think you should come to that school. Is that okay if I pitch that? So um, I just think that God wants to pour out revelation that we walk in fullness of destiny. Amen. John, it would be so good that if you just speak your father apostolic blessing. Thank you, Lord. How many really, this really witnessed with you this morning? <laughs> so we had a wonderful time with Robert uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And one of the things that was speaking to me is, yeah, your, your ancestors and bloodline is one thing, but your own words are quite another. And the Lord was speaking to me about uh, tightening up what we say and what we don't say, that we just feel so free to criticize and find fault. And actually, he hates complaining. And so another big source of this is your own mouth. <laughs> so why don't you lift your hand to him and say, Lord, lead me into the ways that I should go. I want to be truly a follower of Jesus. I want to be a man and woman of integrity. I want to be a man and woman of giftedness and anointing. I want to be one with a pure motive and a pure heart before you. And I want five years and ten years to be a witness of how well I've been doing as a follower of Jesus. So I bless each and every one of you right now in the name of the Lord to go for it to begin to dream dreams and see visions and have those revelations and receive the upgrades and the promises that God has for all of you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we want to do this thing your way, for your sake, for your kingdom's sake. And may we hear your words, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Take a moment, pray for the person next to you, and say, come on, go for, go for your destiny. Go for what's next. We release that fiery presence of God on you to receive more and more and more of the good things of God. In the name of Jesus, amen.